first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the wire and it's important to measure the wire. I'm going to measure 20 inches. I'm going to start out by doing the gold that wraps around the wreath. The gold wire. Um, it will be the thin wire and I need about 20 inches of it. So here is my measuring tape. <laughs> I'm going to measure 20 inches. there. <clears throat> I am going to take the end and I'm going to wrap it around my finger and um, just make a little loop like that and then I'm just going to give it a little twist and um, that should keep the beads from uh, falling off the end of the wire while you're stringing them. What I like to do, this just comes by um, just experience you'll probably catch on after doing a couple ornaments but I like to uh, take the end of the opposite end where the loop is and wrap it around my finger like that get a kind of a big loop and then I um, kind of twist it like that and it'll look kind of like that and then I um, take it and twist it downward so that it'll, what I'm trying to do is make a little scoop <laughs> to get the beads on. And um, it just seems to be easier to get the beads. And, um, and then I'll adjust it accordingly whenever I start picking them up. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string 18 inches of these seed beads. Now, the seed beads are different, or the ones that I have right here in this video are different, um, different sizes. And so it's important to measure your uh, seed beads once you get them on. Because, you know, with one being kind of long and the other one being super uh, thin, then you're not, you may or may have too little or too much and uh, you might need only need 17 inches um, but if you string 18 inches and you have too much then you can always um, you can always take off but once you've cut your wire then you can't you know well you can but it's just a little bit harder more aggravating to put it on and so I just pick up the, the beads. Maybe if I do this left-handed, you can see better. If I can do it left-handed, because I am a right-handed person. I'm just letting them go all the way down to the end. And I'm going to fill this 
wire all the way, almost all the way up. And then I will measure it to see uh, if I have 18 inches yet, okay? I'll do that off camera so that you don't have to watch me, okay? Okay, I'm back. Um, I probably should have told you to cut 22 inches of wire, and I'll make a notation of that on the video. Um, so that if anybody, um, you know, when they go to cut it, then, you know, they'll cut 22 instead of 20. But um, I have my 18 inches strung, and what I have done is I have taken the wire and I went back through the uh, the ends, the, the last bead or the first bead, the last bead and the first bead. I took the end of the wire and went around back through that bead. And I did that on both, both ends. And that is gonna keep the beads on, keep them from sliding off. Uh, let's do the little flower. So for the little flower, I am going to measure 15 inches. I've got my tape of the thin wire, which will be uh, either 30 or 32 gauge wire. So here's my 15 inches. And I'm going to do the little loop um, at the end and um, to keep the beads from falling off. And you might need to use this little bit of wire. So I've got it and um, I did it like that. Whoops, sorry. Did it like that again. And I am going to string on, I think it's one inch. It's either one inch or three quarters of an inch. I'm going to start out with a yellow bead. Okay, there's my beads. Start out with one yellow bead. Just one. I'm gonna go off, let it go all the way to the end and let it rest on that loop which is not permanent and then I'm gonna string on um, and it's probably three quarters of an inch but um, I'm gonna try an inch just to make it easier so let's try 10. That is just a little un, uh, over a half inch. Fifteen. So it's probably going to be closer to fifteen. That is probably about the size that you need, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it an inch just so it'll be easier. So I think I'm gonna put on 16 beads. Okay, that ought to 
be closer. Now I'm going to mess up my pretty end. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, the end of the wire, the stringing end, this end, and I am going to go through the yellow bead at the very beginning. Going through there. And I am going to make the first petal, pushing it up close to the loop. I'm going to pull it through, and I'm making the first petal. Pulling it snug, and it's coming out of the yellow right there. And you can start shaping the petals the way you want them. I think originally the pattern is calling for um, rounded. They're supposed to be poinsettias, but the pattern was calling for rounded off petals, kind of like a daisy. But um, it's up to you if you want to point shape it and make it pointed like a more like a poinsettia, then that's up to you. Now we're ready to start on. Uh, our next petal, which will be another yellow bead to begin with. There's our yellow bead, and it's going to go all the way down. The side of the, um, the red and the other yellow. Now I'm going to put on 16 beads and see if it's real close to an inch. And 16. Get our little measuring tape. Now you can do 16 for all of your petals if you want to, but like I said, they're not all the same size. Like this one needs to be, needs another one. This one needs 17. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to go back through the second gold bead. See how it's going to go right up next to there? Well, I'm kind of pushing it with my finger so that it'll snug up against there. And then I am going to put my wire through there. Make sure that the first petal's still looking good. I'm going to pull. The end of the wire. And keep pulling. Let the beads go down where my finger is. And then um, you kind of have like a um, <laughs> another petal. So get it as tight as you can get it. And try not to let a lot of wire show between these two gold beads because that will show right in the center of your flower. And then after that, I'm going to um, kind of bend it upwards to kind of secure it just temporarily. 
Okay, still working on this third pedal. Um, I'll have, I've had to start over three times. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick up one yellow. And I'm going to pick up 16 red. And it looks like 16's going to do it. I'm going to take the end of the wire again and go through the yellow. It's like a loop. Because remember, you're making the petals. <clears throat> Pushing the yellow. up close to the flower. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull Next, I'm going to take another yellow. String it on here. And then 16 more beads. Working on the fourth petal. I got my 16 beads on here. And they, it made an inch. So I'm gonna go back through the yellow bead again for the fourth petal. Okay, now starting on the fifth and final red loop. Um, I'm going to start with a yellow bead again. And I'm going to put on 16 of the red. Here's my 16, and it's right there. So now we're going to take the end and go back through the yellow bead.
go the wire. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take the end of the wire and we're going to go back through the very beginning, that very first, um, right there, that very first um, yellow seed bead. That will bring it into a circle. Okay, we're going to pull it through. Make sure that the last one in the back is uh, nice and snug. Pull it through. And at this point, you can take the loop out. And give it a pull. Give it a pull on both ends. What I'm gonna do at this point is so I'm gonna pull it to to um, decide which I want, the front or the back, whichever one looks the nicest. <clears throat> they should be pretty close to being the same. And now that I've got it pulled as tight as I can, as um, get the beads together as tight as I can, um, then I'm taking the wire and I'm just kind of pulling it a little bit just so it won't come untightened. And um, now we're going to have to work on the little green leaves. So I have my um, my poinsettia and I'm getting ready to put on the green leaves. I've chosen which side to put the green leaves on. They will be coming from the back. And so I'm going to put on these beads might differ just a little bit but from the red beads but I'm trying to get at least an inch maybe if I have one more um, it would be okay because these are coming from the back and it's okay for them to stick out a little bit. So I'm going to put uh, 17 beads on and see what I get with 17 beads. Okay, I think I have 17 on here. Uh, it looks like I've got pretty close to an inch, so that should be fine. And I'm gonna bring the wire back around to the beginning, the very first green. And I'm gonna try to keep it as close to um, the flower as I can.
time. So I've got the green, the first one down there, and it's fed through there. And I'm going to pull it. And that's pretty close. And I'm going to bend it upward to temporarily secure it. Now I'm going to put on 17 more green beads. Okay, let's measure this. Perfect. Okay, this is the second leaf um, on the back. We're going to take the end of the wire and we're going to go um, and make another loop by going through the first green one of that particular leaf. So here it is. Going through. Okay, putting it close to the other petal where the um, the center is, because this is going to be another center. And and pull it. Bend it backwards. Bend it back so that uh, it is secure temporarily. Now we're going to do the third and final leaf on this particular flower. Okay, putting 17 green beads. I'm going to measure them. Perfect. <clears throat> and now I'm going to bring the um, wire back through the very first green on that particular leaf. Push the bead down. And pull. What you want to do now is you want to um, get the wire from, I put it through the front. It's not necessarily in the front, but I put it through the front because so it would be out of my way. But I'm going to bring it to the back and I'm going to pull these two wires together. And I'm going to twist them. Go on a twist. And you want these uh, flowers to remain flat. So there is your first flower. And you want to make three of these. Now remember what I said, you can make the ends pointed so that they look more like a poinsettia if you want to. And the same with the leaves. There's your flower. Now 
Next, you want to do the wreath. Um, you um, measure 10 inches of the thicker wire. There, uh, you should have some thicker wire. And say about 20 gauge, something like that. And, but I do not have any at this moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double up on this thinner wire. So I'm gonna measure 20 inches of this thinner wire and double up on it. <clears throat> okay, I have my wire. I'm going to put a little loop at the end so they don't fall off. There we go. And <clears throat> what I have here is 12 millimeter uh, clear faceted beads. And there are 14. And I am going to bring them into a loop. And just twist the wire around and get it good and secure. And once you have it on, you can clip. kind of close to the to where it comes together at but um, leave some of it so that it can stay together and I'm, I like to um, so that nobody gets stuck or anything um, I like to take this part right here and I like to uh, turn it over turn it down Okay, now you have your wreath, and let's measure this wreath. I think it says that it should be three inches. It's pretty close. I am going to take the gold strand that we made. I am going to start right here where it comes together at. I am going to wrap it around that area. And then I'm going to give it another, tw I'm going to give it a twist. And I'm working with a short little piece because remember I told you I really needed it to be a little bit longer. And then we're just going to wrap it around. The estimate the, that the pattern was showing said 17 inches, but I was wanting to be safe, and so I said 18 inches, and it looks like it was exactly 17. But um, I'm gonna wrap it back around. And 
and secure it. So, the next thing we do is there's some thread and you measure six inches. I am going to tie, I don't know what this little loop is called, but I am going to tie a knot in it. At the, I'm going to put the ends together. And I'm going to tie a knot in, in it at the, uh, as close to the ends that I can get. I'm going to go behind it and I'm going to put the end that does not have the knot through the end that does have the knot. And I'm going to make it go right there where everything comes together at. And give it a good pull. Okay, and there's your hanger. And now all that's left is putting on the little flowers. There's one in the middle. So determine which side you want to be the front or back and then try to pull everything to the back. And then, that would be kind of good, wouldn't it? But then you got to see all that anyway. <clears throat> Pull it around. Oops. Twi uh, twist it around and um, secure the flower on. Make sure it's all nice and tight. on there really good. So now I'm going to cut the wire. You know you can bend it towards the flower if you want to because the flowers hiding everything anyway. <clears throat> and there's the first flower and here are the other two. You make three. I'm going to put the other one. Um, you skip a little area and go to the next. And there we have it. A nice little pretty Christmas ornament that is a poinsettia wreath.